السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. سليمان ابن مهران الأعمش. The great scholars of hadith. He was among the tabi'een رحمه الله تعالى. You know, fame is based on what you gain in life. But greatness is based on what you give in life. And that's exactly what Al-A'mash رحمه الله was. He was very poor. He didn't get much. He didn't have uh, wealth. He didn't have uh, power, position in the government or anything like that. But he have contributed so much knowledge. It's unbelievable. I can tell you, and I tell this to my students when I teach Torah bearers and we talk about Al-A'mash, I tell them just randomly pick any book of Hadith and flip the pages. I guarantee you, you're not going to go through five, six pages unless you'll find a Hadith reported and narrated by Al-A'mash rahimahullah ta'ala. To the extent that some scholars said, Hafidh al-Sunnah ala Ummat Muhammad Sitta. Six people have saved the Sunnah of the Prophet for the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. One of them, Al-A'mash rahimahullah Sulaiman ibn Mahran. But with all I said about him, and there is much more to be said, and you will hear it when you join us, inshallah, in the class. There is one thing about Al-A'mash rahimahullah that his personality was completely different than any other scholar that you study. And that's in itself one of the major points of discussion that we discussed together during the class. You know, in order for you to be a great Muslim, do you need to change your personality? You know, do we have to have every scholars to be a carbon copy from each other's? They have the same exact way of uh, dealing. And yeah, there are certain standards, but we have to understand people are different. They have different personalities. For example, Amash was not a very social person. He doesn't like to social with people much. He doesn't like people to ask him too many questions. You know, one time he was... Uh, visited by someone who is he liked to argue and somebody like to act like he knows so much and he doesn't know much the Amish can't stand people like that so he came to visit the Amish and he started talking and stuff the Amish rahimahullah just you know waiting for the moment that this guy to leave so he the guy told him I hope you're not being bothered by me being here he said I'll tell you the truth I'm bothered by you when you are in your home, so what do you think? <laughs> How I feel right now? Uh, yes, it is maybe not the nicest way to say it, but that's he how he is. You know, uh, one time his students told him, we're hungry, can you feed us? And he's very poor. So he's nice enough to bring him food. So he said, we're still hungry. He got him another ball of, uh, you know, like a soup or something like that. Then they ate it, they said, we're still hungry. Then he brought them a stick of hay and he dropped it in front of them. They said, what is this? He said, I give you my food and you ate it. I give you my wife's food and you guys ate it. And the only food left in my house is my goat's food. So maybe it will be sufficient for you. So he has this way of talking, you know. Uh, once he was walking into a, a place called Al Hammam. It's a public place where people take a shower, like a spa today. And he found, he saw this guy with no nothing covering his aura. So he closed his eyes and started walking like a blind. So the guy was, you know, being sarcastic. He said, oh, I know you're Amish and you're blurry eyed. He said, since when you became blind? He said, since you dropped your pants. So he's wet, you know, that's him. But that's his personality. Not every scholar like that. You know, one of the scholars, I think, Sufyan, used to say, It was like a humiliation to study under him. But you know what? In the end of the days, they learned so much from him, rahimahullah ta'ala. Not everybody need to be perfect. And that's one of the major discussion uh, that we have in the course. You, you don't need to be perfect to be great. But you know what? If you contribute, if you sincere, if you uh, 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 maintain and, and control your personality, even if you don't change it, you still can be a very great person. And also we know that not everybody uh, should be taken as a role model in every actions and every aspect of their lives, except Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Looking forward to discuss more points about this scholar and so many others in Torshbearers. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.